What's up? Um, my name is Harley Marsh. I'm Donnie Williams. And we're going to be talking about um, uh, whether or not it's ethical to post an image of police brutality um, in your uh, media for our communication uh, photojournalism class. Yes. Okay, so right here uh, we have a picture that's showing. It is of uh, um, instance of police brutality on a young child. Um, this is during a factory workers protest in Bangladesh. Uh, the badly abused both adults and children. Many of the children that got hit with the kinds and suing clothes and both Western companies. Um, they went on the streets to complain about the extremely low wages, affordable conditions. Police didn't like this, so they knocked over many uh, Protestants. They kicked little children and fired tear gas. And over, it was about at least 15,000 people in this um, that happened that this happened to in this country. And they showed no mercy, especially on the little. Um, so we're going to talk about, first we're going to talk about the Bach model, which is um, something that photojournalists use a lot um, to decide whether or not it's okay to post an image in mass media. Um, they have to, they have three steps they basically consult to decide whether or not this image is appropriate for mass audience. So the first step you have to do when looking at an image that you've shot is consult your own morals, um, your own judgment. Do you think, you know, morally, ethically, if this is a um, appropriate image to post um, for everyone to see? Um, second, you're going to consult um, professionals that have experience with um, posting uh, images that have ethical questions. Um, whether ask them whether or not they think it would be a good idea to show this to the world. And finally, the most important step I think is putting yourself into their shoes. Um, you have to, would you want this image to be posted of you? Or if it's of your child, your family member, would you want this image to be posted of your family member? Um, so we're going to use this model when we discuss whether or not we think that this kind of image uh, should be allowed to be posted in um, in our media. Um, so a little bit of the pros and cons. I'm for posting this into the media. Uh, one reason being is because I feel like it's really important important to know the awareness of all this stuff going on. A lot of people have no idea that we can tell it happens everywhere. It's not just Bangladesh or in the United States, it happens everywhere. Um, and it really doesn't matter what kind of person it is. Um, cameras are everywhere. Uh, I feel as though it shows um, a lot of significance as far as being able to film these people who are sworn to protect us. Um, and it serves as really, really good evidence uh, in court just in case you need to prove if the accessible force used by police officers or in town law enforcement was, um, I guess you could say, uh, like approved. Like if certain things are going on, um, by the officer that they're following their job, then it's fine. But if they're obviously using excessive force for no apparent reason, then I feel like there should be a reason why you should be able to record this just for any kind of evidence, especially if any major harm is caused. So some arguments against. Um, so I'm going to be posing as somebody that would be against posting this image. First of all, it's an image of a child. And as we have known kind of in the past, it's kind of controversial to post images of children who are obviously um, in harm's way or something like that. Just because like it, it kind of makes people it kind of makes people more upset than if it were an adult because it's kinda of like like if you post something of an animal, you know, being harmed, it's just so um, they're just so much more innocent and obviously less deserving. Um, so it would cause an up posting this image would cause an uprising, possibly by that family of the child, and not only that, but um, other families, other parents that um, you know would see this and be like, "This could be my kid," and it would just really um, obviously cause an uprising, cause some protests, cause. A lot of publicity for this image and for police in general and going off of that it would cause maybe like a distrust of your government because the police is supposed to be you know run by the government um, maintained by the government and if this government force is um, harming you in any way or you know seeming like they're not 
for the greater good of the people, then the, it would cause the people to um, maybe have an uprising, have a distrust of their government, um, and it would just cause a lot of problems, I think. Um, so that the government doesn't always want that kind of thing because it would be the majority, the people, against the minority. And um, finally, uh, you shouldn't, it's basically, we found it's an eavesdropping law, which is, um, it's not a national law, but it's, it's pretty um, widely known from state to state. It varies from state to state. This eavesdropping law um, is where you shouldn't post images or film of police at work. Um, basically, recording law enforcement officials is a first-class felony, and you can get up to 15 years in prison, according to the Christian Science Monitor. So, basically, posting, you know, it's just this law that if you are posting an image or film or taking film of a police officer at work, you can get into a lot of trouble because, again, it causes this distrust for your government. It causes, like distress for police force and it would make the police officers who maybe are doing their job it would make it harder for them to do their job because people don't trust them you know people were going to go against them and the police again is a minority compared to the majority of the people who could you know try to take over that so just posting this kind of image um where it's a government um not a government uh, entity is often very controversial because you know um, you just don't want to. Well, you know it goes in, but it goes against free speech. But you don't necessarily want to cause um, any sort of distrust to your own government. With that being said, for or against, um, it's really important, especially with this sort of image. It's really important to get that message out to let people understand. Um, how to handle certain situations when dealing with law enforcement. Um, like she said, like eavesdropping law to either record or take pictures of law enforcement um, unfortunately is against the law, but if they are doing it unjustified, then you should be able to do it. So for or against, I think it's really important to know um, the certain things that's going on in the world with police brutality so you know how to handle it if you're ever in that situation. All right, well, thank you for joining in on our discussion, and hopefully it facilitated some ideas of your own. Thank you.